How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out our latest delivery, this 2019 Dodge Charger for the Hackensack, New Jersey Police Department. <laughs> So this is a 2019 Dodge Charger that we built for the Hackensack Police Department. First off, the vehicle features Sound Off Signals Blueprint Multiplex Electrical System with the 3.0 uh, firmware that gives them the OBD2 features and then they also have the sync feature. So what will happen as, as the fleet progresses, the sync module will be added all on, onto all the Blueprint vehicles and then all the vehicles will then sync up on scenes to help uh, increase scene safety so what we've done with the vehicles we've upgraded some of the components on it and then we've reused some other components from previous vehicles uh, for budgetary reasons just to help reuse the equipment because it is in still good shape uh, most of the stuff's been on the car for five years if not more um, up top we have a sound off signal uh, pinnacle light bar with their lpr camera system uh, mounted to the underneath of it um, up front we have the weston push bumper with the sound off signal enforcers and tricolor on both sides, along with the sound off signal speakers mounted to the top of the push bumper. You can see on the DRLs, uh, we've cut them and then spliced them into the blueprint system to give them additional warning. Uh, the factory gives them just the normal back and forth flash pattern. Um, this synchronizes with the blueprint system and the other warning lights. Underneath the mirror, sound off signal intersectors. You can see the light bar. Um, We've given them the door cut feature for the light bar and also the under mirror. Then in the back, we have the sound off signal interior light bar. Um, and then in the back, uh, what we've done is the factory option is usually just the wigwag flasher in the back. So we've cut the wiring to the parking light and the reverse light. And then we've tied them into the blueprint system. So they all still retain all the factory functions, but now they're synced in with the rest of the warning lights. In the trunk, we've given them a Havis trunk tray. Uh, to manage all of their electronics. Um, so, so we have our central controller, we have our Sierra wireless modem, we've got our fuses for the rear equipment, and then we have the L3 camera system, the breakout boxes all mounted inside the compartment um, that allows them to lock this compartment, keep it secure, and uh, it allows us ease of serviceability for equipment in the future. So looking at the console, we've reused the console out of the previous Dodge Charger that they had. Uh, you can see we've got the microphones mounted on the mic clips. Uh, we've got the uh, blueprint control panel, um, their new radio, their uh, ticket printer, the Havis docking station with the Havis mount. And then up top, we have our L3 camera system. So we have our monitor mounted up to our headliner. Uh, we have our voice like mic, and then we have our camera system mounted to the vehicle specific brackets. Looking at the back, since there's no partition, uh, we've installed a Santa Cruz uh, weapon lock. Um, so it mounts up to the factory locations and then gives them uh, the ability to still carry their rifle. 